It's coming home. It's coming home. Football's coming home. And yes, it is coming home. And I know we've got France in uh, the quarterfinals, but it's not going to stop the mighty English. Come on, England. Well, England, Senegal, match review. First off, Tommy B. Masterclass. 3 0 was his match prediction. Guess when it ended? 3 0. That man knows some serious ball. Shout out to him for that. But first, can we actually highlight a man that's not always the best on the ball, but he's quite vocal, Jordan Henderson. And his ball playing ability today was outstanding. He was controlling everything, you know. Honestly, I, I have to be the first to admit, I normally give him a bit of slack. Don't really rate him that much on the ball, but today he performed a clinic, a masterclass, whatever words you want to describe it. I know if you're an English league, English teacher, you could probably list about a thousand positive words for Jordan Henderson today. But all I have to say was simply superb. A little bit of a... I can't can't remember the device for that, but who cares? Um, next man, big big Harry Maguire at the back. He's got a big head. You know, uh, that's quite funny if you're four, but... Um, you could be four and watching this, but uh, Harry Maguire, he's got a message. Well, he's asked me to tell you the message. He wants you to like and subscribe to Tetra Football and watch every single video, or he will personally come round your head, uh, your your head, your house, and headbutt you with his massive head. So make sure to like and subscribe, or Harry Maguire will be knocking your on your door very very soon. Well, talking of the Big man, well, big forehead. Um, I think he had a decent game today. Not one of his best in the England shirt. He he was very good defensively, but you know we we've seen him so well linking up the uh, defence midfield and the attack, but it just wasn't working. So we had to go long in the end, and I think that's really unfortunate. But you know, got us the three points. So really, really good to see him adapting, but. We'd like to see him playing out the back a bit better next time. But the next man. And he's a young, young man. Jude Bellingham. Whoever gets him this summer. Count yourself lucky, lucky boys. Because we, we, he was superb. I mean, he was the reason that England really start started to get going. I mean, fantastic run for that first goal. Carrying the ball out for the second goal. I just mean throughout the game, winning tackles, getting the ball back, linking up play with Harry Kane, with uh, Saka on the right, Foden on the left. He was running it with that, that Jordan Henderson. And if Liverpool do get him, Jordan Henderson and Jude Bellingham could be a very scary midfield with Bellingham's ball playing abilities and his young initiative mind with Jordan Henderson's slightly older more experienced knowledge of the game also with some great balls today and great driving runs from Henderson really could be fearsome if you're a Premier League side facing them too but another player I do want to highlight was Harry Kane whilst he's not he's not been uh, in the goals so far this World Cup today that all changed and he got a clinical finish Today, for the second goal, you know, I think that second goal was really one we needed. Just before half-time to really get our morale up and really put Senegal in the dumps, unfortunately. But, you know, he provided us with that. And uh, he provided it when we, most importantly, importantly needed it. I think, you know, he might not be the best at speaking, but he can certainly score a goal. But next up for... One of the plays of the match, in my opinion, was Saka and Foden. Well, not I'm not going to say player. Players of the match. Saka and Foden. Whilst they didn't do too much, the little they did was very, very good. And I think that sign of, uh, sign of what's to come and how we actually need to involve them a bit more instead of just lumping it down the middle. So, I think Senegal, from their perspective, England... England just outclassed them, 
as Joe was saying in the group chat, I mean, they did put up a very good fight, you know, had moments of uh, of success, but, uh, you know, I think England were just too skillful, and for England, roll on France. And let me know, if you're an England fan, if you think it's coming home for the boys in white or red, depending if it's away day. And uh, if you're not from England, in the comments, let me know who you think is going to win the World Cup. Could it be England or could it be someone else? Let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe or Harry Maguire will come to your house. Ooh.